What's going on guys? Criminal Justice here and today ladies and gentlemen I'll be showing you how to back up your game files through Rage and how to back up your files from your main directory. Uh, now we do have the update that's coming out will not be out until July 23rd uh, but I figured I would go ahead and give you guys a way ahead of time heads up on how to back up your game. Uh, so with that being said this is going to be for Steam and Epic users. Um, so steam users go ahead and pull up your uh main directory uh your directory should look like this epic users your directory should look like this okay now i do have a few mods installed into my steam as well as my uh Ep um, i'm sorry my steam i have a few mods in my epics but i have a lot of mods in my steam now that's besides the point so there is two ways that steam users can back up your game However, there's only one efficient way that this is going to work. Now, for Steam users, Epic's hang tight. I'll get to you. Uh, Steam users, you want to click on your Rage and immediately hold down your left shift key. Okay? Hold down your left shift. And once this window pops up right here, you want to go over to Game Settings and go to Backup Game Version right here and click Backup Current Version. All right? So you can see mine is already backed up. And then once you do that, if you go to revert game version, this is where you will revert your game at when the update takes place, okay? So with that said, and out of the way, we can exit that. Now, the another way to back up your game is like this. We're going to go to our desktop. Uh, Epics, go ahead and follow along. I'm going to show you as well. Uh, so Steam users, go into your desktop. Even if your game is installed in your C drive, as mine is, uh, I'm going to show you how to make copies of the four files inside of your directory for Steam users and the two files inside of the Epics directory. So, you want to create a folder, all right, and you want to name this for Steam, you want to name this like Backup, uh, we'll do Steam, okay? And then we're going to pull this up here, and I'm going to make another folder for Epics. You want to do the same thing, and you want to name yours Backup Epics, okay, just like so. Now, for Steam users, this is what you're going to do. You're going to go into your main directory and you're going to scroll down, all right? And there's four files you need to highlight inside of your Steam directory. You're going to highlight the gt5.exe, guys. I apologize for my phone. Let me silence that real quick. Um, there's going to be four files inside of your Steam directory that you want to highlight, okay? The first one's going to be your gt5.exe. <clears throat> then you're going to hold down your control key and select the gt5 language select. And then select the gt5 launcher and then you want to scroll down hold down your control key again and highlight the play gt5 once you've got that right click and then click on copy right here now you want to open up that folder steam you want to open up your folder and go in here somewhere left click right click and then just paste and there's your files right there now you have these for backup when the update takes place okay steam users you are done Epic users, let's get to you. Pull up your main directory, Epic users. There's only one. You guys can back up the Rage if you're playing LSPFR, but it's it's not going to work. Uh, for Epic users, unfortunately, won't. the only way you can back up your game is to do this. Epic users, open up your Grand Theft Auto V main directory. And you want to highlight two files, okay? So you're going to want to highlight the gt5.exe and hold down your control key and highlight the play gt5. All right? As you can see, that's the only two files in here, okay? Once you have that, okay, right click, again, click copy, all right, and then open up that backup Epic folder that you that you created, go in here, if I can get it to pull over, go in here, left click, right click, and click paste, it's going to paste those two in here, and now you have these files backed up so that when Rage plugin hook, uh, the, the reverting doesn't work, you can take these two files, drop them into your main directory, and overwrite the previous ones, and your game should work. Same for Steam. Steam users, all you have to do is open up your backup that you put in there, highlight these four files, drag them and drop them in your main directory. Well, that would be for this directory right here. You would drag and drop them into uh, this main directory right here, overwrite the files, and you'd be good to go. Uh, that is it, guys. I just wanted to go ahead and get my backup video done uh, because the update is coming July 23rd. Um, I believe it was July 23rd guys let me let me double check here real quick but I do believe it is July 23rd yes July 23rd um, it'll be either on that day or around that day uh, that we're gonna be having a summer security update is what it's gonna be called I think it's called the summer update I don't know about security but it's called the summer update 
Uh, but that is it, guys. Um, make sure you back up your game through Rage. This is going to save you a lot of pain and heartache in the long run because when GT5 updates, and it's going to, it's going to update. These updates could come at any time. They could come tonight. They could come tomorrow, within the next two days, next two weeks, or it could be here on or before July 23rd. Um, it's going to save you a lot of pain and heartache. And if you go ahead and back up your game through Rage and back up those files I told you guys to back up through Epics and Steam, um, it will keep you from having to wait on LSPFR, Rage Plugin, Hook, and Script Hook Vita update. That's what these videos are for, is to help you to be able to still play the game while waiting on the other main mods to update. So once GT5 online, once GT5 updates, you can have these files with only your main directory, overwrite them, and you're good to go, and you can still play while waiting on LSPFR, Rage Plugin, Hook, and Script Hook Vita update. So that's pretty much it, guys and girls. Subscribe if you're new, smash that like button for me. Click that bell and click off so you don't miss any future content or live streams. That being said, ladies and gentlemen, until next time, stay safe, stay awesome. God bless you and be humble. I will see you all in the next video.